Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today for my Feature Friday video, I have this fun fold. Isn't that neat? I can't remember what it's called, but I know it's pretty cool and I know I love fun folds. We're using the Lemon Zest Bundle and I'll be showing you that in a few minutes. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this beauty. Let me tell you about the cardstock layers. We're first going to start out with a card base that is four and a quarter by eleven, and that is scored at five and a half and two and three quarters. And then I've got a piece of basic black that is three and a half by eight and a half, a piece of whisper white that is four by three and a quarter, and another smaller piece that's one and seven eighths by three and a quarter. And then I've got some lemon lime twist. This is four, I'm sorry, five and a quarter by four, and another piece that's two and three eighths by four. Then I've just got two pieces of Whisper White for scraps for the stamping and punching. All of these dimensions can be found on my blog. If you're on YouTube watching this video, you can go right down below my video and you'll see something that says something like see more. I'm going to have to look at that so I know exactly what to tell you, but it says see more or description. If you click on that, it'll open up um, a little larger space and it'll tell you where this blog post is. So you can just click on a link. It'll take you right to that specific post. So let's get started here. The first thing I'm going to do is fold my card base in half and burnish it. And then on that two and three quarter inch score line, we're gonna fold that back and burnish it. So this is the basic layout of the card base. Then we're gonna bring in that larger black piece and this you're just gonna fold in half and you can score it if you want. If you do happen to score it, it's gonna be scored at four and a quarter and six and three eighths. But if you cut your card stock, so that like here's your big sheet and you cut off the three and a half inches right here. You're not going to need to score. You can just fold it in half and then we're going to fold it back. And this is easier than scoring. I just And it's more precise too because if you get those score lines a little crooked, eh, it gives you trouble. So the basic layout of this card goes together like this. Okay? So we've got that down. And we're going to come in here and do our stamping now. I am using the Lemon Zest stamp set, and this does come in a bundle. When you order the punch with it, you save 10%. And this also coordinates with the one and three quarter inch circle. So you can punch out this image, and also the two inch circle would be a layer behind it. So those are both good to have with this set. We're going to be using basic black ink, lemon lime twist, and daffodil delight. So I'm just going to stamp my words first here. If life gives you lemons, on the front layer and squeeze it for all it's worth on the inside. And I think that's just a cute saying. And on my inside layer, I chose to put the like lemon peel on there. You could use this for an orange, you could do grapefruit, you could do limes. This is really neat, you just change the colors. I'm gonna stamp off once because I didn't want it to be that dark. I wanted it to be real mellow. And stamp that on my layer. Now I'm going to come in with this bigger scrap and stamp a couple, couple lemons. And I just want to give you a tip here. When you stamp your lemons, you want the bigger um, bump to be at the top because that's the way your punch is going to fit in to your paper here. Do you see what I mean? The bigger lump or bump or whatever you want to call it is at the top here. So I'm just gonna bring my punch in. You always stamp first and then punch. And I'm gonna cut this off so I can get at the next lemon. Okay, 
making up my mess here. Here's our two lemons, and then we need some leaves. I've got this layer for our leaves, and I'm using Lemon Lime Twist Ink. And again, if you take a look at your punch, you're going to see how you need to kind of stamp your leaves at an angle on your scrap so that you can get that punch in there easily. I know that I always struggle with this a few times and then go, oh, well, if I would have stamped it like this, everything would have been great, right? Here's one leaf. And then we're going to use the other leaf. And again, I'm going to look at it and see that the curved edge needs to go at the top. And I just need a couple of those. And I stamped them the wrong way. <laughs> Here we go. You'll figure it out. I just like to give you some little tips because sometimes we go about and we stamp out a bunch of leaves and then they're all the wrong way that they won't fit in the punch. That's not fun, right? It can be rather frustrating. So there's two more leaves. Oops. Hang on, I just stuck my finger in the ink. The other thing that I chose to use on my card is the Pick a Pattern Washi Tape. And this is all black and white. I'm going to use this one. I've been having a lot of fun with this washi tape lately. If you watched my video on seven different ways to use washi tape, you know that you can color this by sponging or with markers too, so you can make it any color you want. It can be whatever color you want and black. You can either cut this or tear it. And I'm just gonna fold it around the back here. And then we're gonna add our lemons. The first lemon I'm going to glue down with some liquid glue. And you notice I've got it kind of going over the edge here. I did that on purpose because I just think it adds kind of some interest. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this one. Don't forget to stick your fingernail in the middle of those so they pop off easier. And I looked up lemons because I wasn't really sure. But the large bump goes at the top. That would be the part hanging from the tree. I kind of forgot that. I'm like, what do lemons look like? I don't know. So here goes just a tiny touch of glue, and I'm going to tuck this behind the lemon that's here. And again, that's kind of going off the edge of our layer, which is fine because we have some other layers this is going to go on top of. So it won't interfere with our card and how big it is. I'm just going to take this one and put it right here. And this little leaf I chose to put right there. Isn't that cute? Love it. Okay. Oops. This particular layer now gets glued onto this piece that we folded up earlier. I'm just going to leave that folded up so that I can make sure that my margins are even. I'm going to get I'm going to put away these ink pads before I drop my card in it. You know I love to do that. Said no stamper ever, right? <laughs> very frustrating. Then I, I'm going to bring in my lemon lime pieces. I chose the Layered Leaves Dynamic Textured Impression Folder and this is one of those really thick folders. So I wanted to show you um, the way that Stampin' Up! recommends you use these because it's just a little bit different. I've got one of our spritzers here with some water in it and I'm going to take the spritzer and I'm just going to spritz this layer a little bit with water. What it does is it helps break down the fibers in the paper so that this folder can emboss more deeply. And the other thing you need to do is you're going to use your um, Big Shot platform and this doesn't have any layers on it. You're just going to place your folder right on the platform and use one cutting pad instead of two. When you roll this through the Big Shot, you're going to roll it in 
until you get almost to the end of the folder and then you're gonna roll it back. And the whole idea behind these dynamic folders is that they impress almost so they give you a 3D image. They're just so deep and beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. We're gonna do the same thing with the smaller piece. Just a little bit of water. Don't get too carried away with that. And do the same thing. Roll it through and then roll it back. And there we go. Okay, so once we have our embossed layers ready, I'm gonna let you take a look at this card again. I decided to add a black layer under my lemon lime twist. So let's do that. This layer is five and a quarter by four. So it's the same size as the lemon lime twist layers that I gave you at the beginning of the video. And then your lemon lime twist is just gonna be a quarter inch smaller. Hear that weird whining noise? That is my outdoor water hose adding water to the swimming pool. And it makes that noise so we don't forget it's on. I don't know how my husband did that, but he did. Okay, and here comes our lemon lime. I will have all of these dimensions for both cards with the black in the background and without on my blog. So, and if you don't wanna go there, that's fine. Again, the lemon lime is just a quarter inch smaller than the original dimensions I gave you. You want to put your glue all the way around the outside of these layers so you don't have any buckling at the sides. You know how it kind of goes like this? You don't want that. Okay, so here we go. And now to put this together, we're going to put this little inside layer right in here. I have to tell you, I had some big problems with this video. Um, my phone just all of a sudden shuts off. Right in the middle of a video, it shuts off. And of course, I have no idea because you're up there and I'm down here. And then I get done with my video and it's not all there. Oh, did you see I just put glue only on that side of my layer? And now we're going to bring this in here and we're going to just center it on the card while it's closed give it a second here. So anyways, my video problems. I've been having problems like that for a long time. You guys probably didn't know this, but it takes me two or three shoots to get one video done because my phone keeps quitting and it has to do with storage issues. Glue on this piece alone, keep that closed just like this, and then we're just going to close our card. So I'm excited to say tomorrow I pick up my new iPhone 7 Plus with 256 gigs of memory. Boom. No more video problems for Kelly. <laughs> Yay. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. This has been a major source of frustration for me. And yet I keep bringing you videos. I am relentless like that. Okay, you guys, here's our card. Isn't this adorable? Here's the first one without the black underneath the lemon lime twist. What do you think? Which one do you like better? I think I like the black because it gives that green a real pop. I think that would be my favorite one. And I've said this in the past, but you can have a so-so card, and if you add layers of card stock like this, your card goes from so-so to holy cow. So I love layers on card stock. All right, there you go. One more thing I almost forgot. We don't want to forget to... stamp our envelope. So I'm just going to give it a couple little lemons here. Oh, I don't like that. That's ugly. I'm going to bring a scrap in here so I don't make a mess all over. Let's try it again. We'll just leave one lemon there. How about that? Don't forget to stamp up your envelope because that little bit of sunshine when somebody opens up their mailbox is so much fun, right? Okay. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stampabove.com 
and I'd be happy to send you our newest catalogs. We've got a brand new holiday mini catalog coming out September 1st, so those are going to be going in the mail in August. Uh, make sure you let me know if you don't have a demonstrator. I'd be happy to send you one. And make sure you give me your address when you send me an email because I have people who email and say, I'd love to have a catalog. And then crickets. It's like, well, I'd love to have your address so I can send you a catalog. Don't forget that part. That's something I would do too. In the excitement, it's like, I want a catalog. It's like, well, you have to give me the information. <laughs> So don't forget that. We also have our bonus days going on right now. When you place an order of $50 or more before tax and shipping, you get a $5 coupon to use in August. So that's pretty exciting. Um, hop on over to my blog. There is an order online button. You can order all these products. This lemon zest stamp set with the matching punch is just the bomb. You can, like I said before, do so many things. Grapefruit, oranges, lemons, limes. You can have a lot of fun with this. We also have another special ending July 31st, and that is our Christmas in July promotion. When you purchase our discount shopper kit, you will get this fun Carols of Christmas stamp set along with a pair of paper snip scissors, 2D acrylic blocks, a pack of our grid paper, a snail adhesive, and a bone folder, all included in the kit over and above the $125 in product you get to pick out. So it's 100% customizable with that $125 in product. All of this is $99 plus tax, no shipping. The value of this package is $209.50. So that ends July 31st. If you would like to be a discount chopper and receive 20% discount on all your future orders, hop on over to my blog and look for the Christmas in July promotion and you'll be able to click on a link and see all the details. There are no strings attached to this, I am not kidding. You get to be a discount shopper until the end of December. And in that amount of time between now and then, if you order or sell, if you wanna start selling it, $300 worth of product, you will get another three months to be a discount shopper. You need to maintain $300 in sales every quarter, but you get until the end of December to do that. So I hope you'll take that into consideration because it's kind of a no-brainer. $209 worth of product for $99 plus tax and you get a 20% discount on everything. Win-win, right? All right, you guys, thanks so much for stamping with me. I hope you have an amazing day. And to add a little sparkle to someone's life, send them a card.